Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one's giving you guys one simple trick that's gonna make it much easier to funnel your kill squad into the base. It applies to pretty much any town hall level. We're gonna focus on town hall nine attacks, but at pretty much every town hall level, town hall nine, 10, 11, you have to funnel troops into the base, whether it's your heroes, uh, bowlers, valks, whatever it is, um, it's a very important process and this video and this one simple trick is going to make it much easier to get your troops inside the base instead of them walking around the outside and not getting you any value. So to start off, we're going to think of an analogy um, which might help illustrate this concept a little bit better. Then we'll break down some specific attacks. So let me give you the analogy. Let's say theoretically um, we have a bowl, like an empty bowl of like cereal or something, something circular like that. And in this empty bowl, there's a hole at the very bottom, a few inches across. And I say, I give you a ping pong ball, uh, you're standing a few feet away from the bowl, and I say, okay, throw the ping pong ball through the hole in the bottom of the bowl. It's a little bit weird, but it'll make sense in a second. Would it be easier to throw the ping pong ball through the hole if the bowl is upright, meaning the edges uh, come up and it's just like a regular bowl, or if you turn the bowl upside down so it's like a dome, which would be easier to get that ping pong ball through the hole in the bottom of the bowl? And the answer, of course, is if the bowl is normal and uh, is like a sloped downwards in the middle, because as long as the ping pong ball lands somewhere inside the bowl, it'll naturally funnel down through the hole. Whereas if it's upside down, you have to get the, the ping pong ball exactly through the hole on the first shot because if it hits the side, it's going to deflect and fall down the side because it's a sphere shape and it doesn't naturally funnel down to the hole because the hole is at the very top and the sides go down like a sphere. So you're wondering why I gave you this weird analogy. But let's take a look at a few attacks and it'll make more sense. Nice hit to K7 there. I think a new member. Um, nice hit there. Uh, moving to 21, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, let's fast forward to where he drops the jump spell and then we'll pause it. Um, this is Iron Lion. Look at the entry point. Coming in with wall breakers right here. Now, whenever you're looking at a base and where you want to enter, look at how the walls are structured around the entry point because this tip has to do with choosing the best place to enter your kill squad and you want to enter your kill squad as if you're attacking and think of the bowl metaphor you want to attack so it's like you're going down towards the bottom of the bowl in terms of there being sides sticking out to each side not attacking um, the opposite, which would be entering right here, where you're attacking the top and the sides kind of recede uh, in each direction like this. You don't want to enter here, you want to enter as if the gravity is pushing in the direction your kill squad is entering, make it a little U, a bowl, around the, the base. So I think that, that metaphor might have made sense, we'll see in the comments below, but you guys will see quite a few attacks today, have two more to take a look at. The idea is it's much easier to use the walls to your advantage. Uh, we'll, go, go, we'll go times two because these attacks are, are nice attacks, but that's not the focus of this video. Um, you want to use the walls and look for places where you can enter at an indented point where you're dropping your wall breakers or your jump spell at a point that has to each side the walls extending outward. That's ideal, but at least to one side, the wall is extending outward. In other words, you're making it as similar to that bowl metaphor as possible that I talked about. So let's fast forward to the end here. I think another example might be helpful um, to, to really illustrate what I'm trying to tell you guys. So let's move on to base number 27 here. Uh, this is sub-zero, and once again, let's just take a look at his entry point. Okay, so we'll fast forward. Um, this time he's using a CC P.E.K.K.A. So um, different than bowlers, but it's still, for, for pretty much anything, this bowl metaphor holds true, no matter what you're trying to funnel. Look at this little indent. It's perfect. The walls basically naturally push the troops into that part of the base that he wants to enter. Again, 
um, if you imagine the uh, gravity kind of pushing down in the direction your kill squad's going, uh, think of the bowl. It's coming up like this. These are the sides uh, like that, and then this is the base of the bowl, and you're sending your kill squad through. So once again, the, I think the queen walk was intentional because there's a Lava Hound CC, but he gets the important troops into the base, and it's going to be a three star. So nice attack to sub zero. We'll fast forward a little bit. It's all about choosing the right place to enter your kill squad. Now, there's other factors. You have to get the heroes taken out, at least the queen taken out uh, on most attacks. You have to get um, some good defensive value, maybe trigger some giant bombs if it's a hog attack, air defenses if it's a Laloon attack, stuff like that that you have to take into account. But you can always change your entry point slightly based on how the walls are set up to make it easier to funnel your troops into the base Let's take a look at one more, number 28 here, Garab. Once again, using that, um, using what I told you guys, dropping the golem, and you guys are thinking, wait, this is like the sphere, the upside down bowl, because you have the walls receding to each direction. But that's not his entry point. He's just starting here so he can take out a few of these uh, cannons before his golem's gonna redirect in the opposite direction. So. Um, his real entry point is at the bottom of the bowl, not at the top. So uh, the golem reroutes, I think it'll just end up sitting there the entire attack or something. There's the third golem, and look where he's going to wall breaker in. Right on that air defense. And the reason this works out well is because these walls right here help push the troops in this direction. They act as a barrier that doesn't allow the troops to move uh, and walk around the outside of the base because the troops would have to walk back and up and around. That's why this metaphor and this uh, technique works well because um, it naturally pushes your troops into the base. Think of the ping pong ball. If the ball is upright, um, even if the troops aren't exactly placed or even if the ping pong ball is not exactly thrown onto the, the gap or the opening in the bottom of the ball. As long as you hit one of the sides, it'll bounce around and slowly come to the bottom, kind of like those do donation things you have um, at like zoos or whatever, where you drop the penny and it has it go around um, until it reaches the bottom and goes through there. Uh, it's the exact same thing. It's a real life funnel. That's how you want to think about funneling your troops because they naturally will bounce around till they get to the lowest point as they approach the side of the base and it makes it easier. Now, if you're an advanced attacker and you want to go at an entry point that doesn't follow this criteria because there's a lot of value to be gotten at that entry point, then you can consider you know, making sure the funnel is much better, much cleaner, using better funneling troops um, and making a deeper funnel and coming at the base from a place that's maybe not following this tip. Um, but for general purposes, for a kill squad, it makes it easier to come at the base from these little indents rather than coming at the base from like a peninsula that's sticking out. So I hope this video helped. It's kind of a weird metaphor I used, but I think it might kind of shed some light on what I'm trying to tell you guys. This one trick is used a lot in three-star attacks. You guys saw quite a few attacks right in this video that used the technique. Even that first attack I showed you guys as I was talking um, also had a entry from a lower point in the base with walls expanding outward to either side. So oftentimes there's not one of those uh, places located inside a base, but at least make sure one of the sides goes up. Uh, don't attack the base at the farthest out point because it's the most difficult to funnel your troops in if you're attacking the base on a peninsula or something like that. So drop questions in the comments below if you are still confused, and I'll try to explain it better there. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.